How is it going guys? Today we are going to be working on the transmission mount of the FRS. We just recently replaced the engine mounts with some Cusco engine mounts that are a whole lot stiffer. So I want to do the same thing with the transmission mount, except we aren't going to be replacing it. We're going to be installing some inserts that are going to help to stiffen things up. Now, if you guys have been enjoying the content that I've been posting every Tuesday, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you'd like to see. Today I've got the white line transmission mount insert bushing and the parent transmission mount support, both of which we'll be installing to stiffen everything up. Before we get into the install, let's talk about why we would want to do this in the first place, because stiffening things up would mean we get more NVH, which is noise, vibration, and harshness. So while we may not want to do this on a daily driver for a purpose-built track car, autocross car, drift car, etc., we want as much performance as possible. And with the stock mounts and bushings, they tend to be more on the softer side to make sure things are still comfortable. But because they are soft, that allows the engine and transmission to move around under load, which means we're losing some of that power that the engine is producing. So if we're able to stiffen things up and minimize that movement, we're able to improve the efficiency and get more of that power to the wheels. And on this car, I need as much power as I can get. Underneath the car, you can see I've removed the front pipe. Not completely necessary, but I just wanted to get it out of the way. There's also a stand underneath the transmission so that when we remove the mount, it doesn't just drop down and put a bunch of stress on everything. So make sure that the transmission is supported before you start. I'm gonna start with these two 14 millimeter nuts and then move on to the outer 14 millimeter bolts. And that's gonna allow us to remove this bottom bracket. Now we can remove the four 14 millimeter bolts that are holding this section in place. To give you guys an idea of what I was talking about earlier, just holding this in my hand, I'm able to actually move it around quite a bit as you can see. So hopefully once we get the inserts in there, that will no longer be an issue. The next step is going to be removing this 17 millimeter nut on the bottom here. That's going to allow us to slide this section out, which we'll be replacing once we get the bushing in there. With that removed, we've got the white line bushing here. They supply you with a packet of grease to lubricate the bushing so that we can easily slide this in here. And we need to slide it into the rear of the mount. So if we look on the top side, you can see those arrows that indicates the front of the mount. So we're gonna turn it this way. And this is the rear. And then we will slide this into place. With the bushing installed, we're gonna flip this over and we can take the parent support piece, get the bolt out of here. And then we'll just slide this into the top like so, flip it back over and reinstall the bolt. I'm gonna leave that finger tight for now. We're gonna get this reinstalled on the car and then we can start torquing it down. Quick comparison between the parent support and the OEM one we removed from the car. You can see this is a lot wider in diameter, so it's gonna completely fill the hole in the mount, whereas there was gaps with the OEM one that allowed that excess movement. Also, before I forget, with both of these installed, let's try and see if we can move this at all. Yeah. Definitely a lot stiffer than before. Back underneath the car, we can reinstall the mount with the four 14 millimeter bolts. Just make sure you've got the orientation correct. And we're gonna to torque these down to 30 foot pounds. Now we can torque the 19 millimeter bolt for the parent support to 60 foot pounds. 
The lower bracket can go back in its place with the four 14 millimeter bolts. These also need to be torqued down to 30 foot pounds as well as the two 14 millimeter nuts. We just need to get the front pipe reinstalled and we are set. Super simple installation and both of these are also pretty inexpensive. So if you guys wanna pick these up for yourself, the links are down in the description. Now, like I said earlier, this is going to add some NVH to the car. So it's gonna be a bit more harsh and you're gonna be able to hear more of that transmission. But that being said, if you're hearing clunking noises or grinding or anything like that, that's definitely something to look into. But transmission whining noises do tend to be normal when you stiffen these things up. So keep that in mind. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So while we unite, so you little, 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 God damn it. Oops. Oopsies.